Welcome back to... Oh, hang on a minute, this isn't right. There we go, that looks a little bit better. Welcome back to the adventures of Emperor Game and the Noble of North Valyria. Now, last episode we saw that, unfortunately, Top Volga has decided to conquest just about everybody. Now, luckily, the Dothraki Horde since then has um, broken pretty significantly, but he is still going for... Was it Jomo? I'm pretty sure he had a claim on the Kalasar of Jomo for whatever reason. I, I think that happens. Now, correct me if I'm wrong here. When they break away from him as a tributary or something like that. Um, so he's got a claim on a Kalasar for whatever reason, and he's pushing that claim. Warscore is currently sitting at 7% in favor of Top Bog for world domination. He is fighting Carl Jomo, Dazo, Jogo, Doggo, Mengo, Loso, Azo, Quazo, Grumpy, Sleepy, Bashful, and Sad. So we should be fine when it comes to that war, because we've got, we've got a long time before Top Bog's actually going to make any sort of progress. Plus the AI has to conquer, you know, Nomad Lands, which is not fun, because there's not very much war score to be had there. So I think we've got an episode or two left. I honestly think we've got a little while yet before we've got to seal these labyrinths up. Now, unfortunately, we are very, very close, but still incredibly far. We are on Lang. We have a colony on Lang. Um, the Scourge is obviously, you know, now something we have to concern ourselves with. But unfortunately, to actually close the labyrinths of Lang, we have to hold the title of Lang, which means colonizing um, at least 50% of it, enough to hold the title and create the, the, the Empire level title. We also... So it's free to create tiles in the Game of Thrones world, which is quite nice as well. So we don't have to worry about gold for the empire because we're already going to spend what like 400 800 maybe even 1200 gold um hang on let me just double check how much more we need um so we've got 37 percent right now three out of eight so we've got to colonize at least two more provinces that's another 800 gold minimum so we're gonna have to take uh dendra and lengmar so grab these two then we can seal the labyrinth i'm not sure if it is as simple as just pressing a button uh maybe there's some sort of quest associated with it maybe i don't know something might happen um, I have no idea, because I've never sealed the labyrinths, only ever opened them. So this is going to be pretty fun, I think. We've got to get a little bit more cash, and ideally we've just got to basically bash out 400 gold, or 800 gold, I should say, extremely fast. So, what better way to do that than by, uh, pillaging and raiding other lands? And you know what, these areas here are looking very, very ripe for the picking. Tarth, 5,000 men. Dawn, uh, wait, Dawn, that's not right. Uh, what about Rainwood, what are we looking at here? 5,000 men. Westeros looks like they might have enough men and enough gold for us to uh, for us to grab certain things. Now, don't forget, King Tagon the Gentle last episode was chosen by R'hllor. The man put in charge of the Iron Throne by uh, Bob. By, of course, the legendary Bob Zaperian. What a shame, because we, I think we're not actually too far away from becoming chosen as the uh, chosen of R'hllor. We need a lot more piety. That's a, definitely one of our downsides. We've got a good marshal. We're a genius. We're a dragon rider, which massively, massively increases the chance of being chosen. Authoritative, fire-obsessed, just, kind. If we get rid of Slothful and maybe get a little bit better at um, fighting, I think we're premium. I, I think we're, we're on the, we're on the well, what's the expression, R'hllor's Dean list. Is that what you say in America? That's what we're going for here. We're, on the, we're, we're the best boy. So that's what we want to aim to do. And unfortunately, that means we've got to get rid of King Tag on the general. Now, what can we do with that? We could Dragon Conquest him in a couple of years' time when the dragon's feeling a bit more, um, less shitty. I said I'd rename him when he hit 10 Marshall, uh, because otherwise he's a useless dragon and doesn't do anything. But I feel like I'm just going to have to rename him now, aren't I? Otherwise, we might never... The, the results of that video that we ran like five episodes ago or whatever are just never going to come true. So let me go and uh, dig up what his name was. And then we'll rename this boy now, even though it's a couple of uh, Marshall short. Little anus indeed, given that he's, uh, you know, 19 with 8 Marshall there. Really not very good at all. Hopefully, we actually will get to use it before the end of the freaking campaign, though. But yeah, there you go. Little anus of Illyria. What a nice little boy. Some people are asking if I... Definitely took it out of the dragon pit, but it is definitely taken out of the dragon pit, as you can see there. So it's it's just the fact that it's, it's just a naturally smaller dragon, you know? It's got that nimble trait, so that's a little bit of a downside, but not too terrible. So, what am I doing then? Um, who is Balerion? Um, my half-brother Balerion. My brother-in-law, sorry, Balerion. I do not care about Balerion. Get out of here. Right, I think we probably want to go, like I said, to Westeros, because they're probably one of the most splintered states right now, and they've got a lot of gold and people and slaves that we can sell. Hopefully to earn enough money to obviously colonize Lang. So, um, what happened to my... Uh, where are they? Oh, right, of course. Yeah, no, no, we're in Bolon Terrace, I remember now. Trying to get basically whatever we could um, as easily as possible. Tyrosh also looking pretty squishy there. What about the Stepstones? Could we just go and slave raid pirates? That doesn't sound right. Um, if the target is a pirate round, they can only be attacked by a king tier or higher, which is us. Um... 
They can only be attacked by if if king tier or higher. Okay, right, that makes sense. I was gonna say that would be um oh god. The Tyranny Native Revolt. Okay, that's a little bit annoying. We might have to go and deal with that very quickly. In fact, do we even want to leave the Fiery Hand in Tyranny and then send our own troops over to go and get Slave Raid and things like that? Probably not a bad plan to have a permanently raised reinforcing army. Oh, God, they've got quite a lot of troops, haven't they? What is that symbol? Oh, God, don't do it. Episode 1 of the... Oh, well, no, they've just they've just basically killed themselves there. Good work. Well done. Oh, no, the Scourge has broken out in Tyranny. What a shocker. Episode one of the Top Box Boff campaign when we had like a full on swastika as our um as our what was it? It was like our house flag, right? Because we, we were basically a randomly spawned um merchant house at that stage. That's pretty insane. Right, there we go. Hundred percent war score, thank you very much. Oh, do I wanna leave these boys here? They're just gonna get annihilated by attrition though, aren't they? Because of the, the multiple levels of disease. What if we had a refuge? Would that even help? I don't think it would. Um Man, as much as I'd love to leave these guys here, it's not exactly the best idea. What's the supply? 1,000. Because the Scourge is actually stacking up and giving minus 3 each time. Oh, that's so bad. I mean, that's obviously a glitch, but... Fuck's sake. Alright, whatever. Whatever. We'll just have to sail back and deal with it as and when we can, then. Oh. Okay, never mind, then. We're back again. Hang on. Sorry. No, sorry, we didn't mean to leave. Hang on. Get, get off the boats. Right, there we go. Oh, God. Um, That was looking a bit risky there. Can we go now? Man, they actually managed to kill a lot of my freaking troops there. Oh, you know what? Just keep them there. Honestly, keep them there. Who cares if they die to attrition? They're just going to reinforce because they're a mercenary company anyway. We need something there to stop this from constantly kicking off. Um, I am nothing. No, who are you? Lord Sadik the Hideous. No comment. I am nothing. Uh, unrewarded service. So we can give him 50. No, we, we're trying to save up as much money as possible. I don't care if I piss off some random. Oh, my God. I made him my justicia. Really? With 19, ah, oh, he's pretty good, but I feel like someone else. Let's put Liat on board instead and send him a gift. Um, it's going to give him 66 opinion. Yeah, that's not too bad. Now, how is our Dishonor looking like right now? I'm going to send you to suppress revolts. Sorry, that's basically a doomed, uh, it's basically a doomed post. Don't give him that dude. Oh my god, what happened? There we go. Oh, that was a bit worrying. Okay, um, this boy wants to arrange marriage. Raycar, who? Uh, King of Karth or Paramount of Karth? Absolutely not. No, thank you. Not that I really had, you know, anything to complain about there. Prince Veyron. Right, my son, of course. He's ending up pretty goddamn good, I'd say. Um, you know, idolizer, conscientious, affectionate, curious are all very, very good. We wanted to train him in martial, but unfortunately, if we do that, he's going to end up terribly. I'll train him in diplomacy. I'll have to train him in diplomacy. Honestly, his chance of coming with a good uh, diplomacy education is obviously incredible. Not only does he have those, but he has diligent as well, which gives a bonus. Do we have... We're a genius as well. Um... Uh, we don't have any other traits, to my knowledge, that really affect that. Things like patient, I've, I've explained it a hundred times more, but patient, diligent, um, you know, shrewd, things like that will affect it. Diplomatic education for you, then, because you're not exactly the warrior I was looking for. He's a very good kid, though. 12 years old, 12 diplomacy. We could force him to train, though, right? Oh, we're leading troops? Oh, we can't force him to train, because we've only got uh, level 2 of, uh, of, of fighting. And this kid is also level 2, so this kid could probably beat us. So, no, I'm not going to train you. Um, Donaro wants to be released from prison. Absolutely. If we've got any prisoners... Uh, anus, my uncle. Uh, you can stay there. Nope, that's an anus that we're not releasing. What about exile and Aaron? Nobody wants anybody there, that's the problem. Like, nobody wants to be ransomed out, so burn them all. Honestly, burn them. Fuck it. Let's try and get Zealous. That would be pretty great. We didn't just get it then. No, we didn't. Okay. Right. Let's burn everyone. Try and get Zealous as quickly as possible. Oh, I think that was the one. I think that one, we actually got it there. Uh, no, still nothing. Wait, what? Uh, well, I heard the noise that was like the, you know, the diddling for getting a... Oh, God, did I become a tyrant instead? I accidentally... That's what it was. We didn't get ze <laughs> We didn't get Zealous. We didn't get Zealous. I just got tyrant instead. Well, that's much better. Um, it's because they are... Members of our court, and obviously it's a little bit... Yeah, there we go, okay. Fine, we didn't get Zealous. A little bit of a shame there, but if we take some more prisoners, I'll make sure to uh, burn them as soon as possible. Right, because Zealous would obviously also help us get chosen by Brelor a lot quicker. So, where are those boats again? I'll send these boats back up to... Because um, we could just take the men from Illyria, right? That couldn't hurt. Surely we can split it up into a stack of 9,400. Surely? How many men have we got here? Oh my god, we've got 16,000 men on this tiny little island. Um, right, get rid of you. Shit, no, we absolutely can't. I'm going to have to raise my fleets as well. Uh, uh, that's so annoying. Fuck it. Who cares? Right. Oh. Now, I've got to remember. Okay. They're actually raised levies now. Oh, this is too good. This is too good. Right. Okay. Uh, 
It's tar. Let's go for tar first. What? Oh shit, they're under dawn. Okay, that's annoying. Um, Lady Paramount. Eleanor of the Stormlands Martell. Okay, no, they're not under Dawn at all. It's just House Martell. Oh, of course. Yeah, no, they're not the leaders of Dawn anymore, are they? Um, what about Tyrosh? Let's go for Tyrosh instead. I don't particularly want to get uh, washed up in the minutiae of the Iron Throne here. Right, Slave Raid Tyrosh. Just got to earn that money. Got to, got to get that dollar. Right, raise my, raise my boys. Let's get on those boats. Okay, now this is going to give us 400 gold, which is obviously a good start. It's not fantastic. We could also hit Mer. What are they looking at? 9,500 men is really not very much at all. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to go for those as well. Um, we've also got Kohor, but those boys are quite... Oh, not strong at all, but it would be quite a long walk. because obviously they have many, many provinces. The Scourge is broken out in tyranny. Uh, in other news, the sky is blue and grass is green. Oh, long before the endeavor had begun... Oh, tyranny had a thriving harbor. We cannot afford this. If I say no, it's going to make the colony potentially fall into ruin. Advanced colony on tyranny. That's good. Hopefully this hospital will actually kick in and maybe we can start reducing the Scourge. I don't want to... I'm not looking to completely eliminate it. I think that's a bit, bit of a ridiculous ask here. But at least, you know, reducing the numbers so we can have a larger standing army here would be kind of nice. Um, wants to buy her for 40 gold. A job well done. Hey, that worked out pretty well. Sacrificial burning as an offering to the Lord of Light. I'm going to burn my cousin. Fuck it. Sacrifice her. She has king's blood. Is that going to give us... Uh, I was going to say king's blood. It was a bit late for that, huh? Um, nice, nice, nice. Sacrifice to draw by three. How was she related to a king? Oh, shit. She was, uh... Oh, as, as my cousin, she generally would be Bob's uh, granddaughter. Huh? Yeah, that's, that's generally how that works. Right, okay, here we go. Tyrosh is going to be very, very easy, I think. No way they're going to defeat 1,600 with 1,000. Get out of here with that. That's what I thought. All right. Uh, Janix, that's the most ridiculous name I've ever heard. Let's replace you with Aegor. Sadik, get out of here. Norello and... Janix. Janix is just like the most stupidest Valyrian name I've ever heard. Um, somebody wants to buy her. 40 gold. Excellent. Good deal. Oh, god damn it again. Come on, don't do this. Are they immediately at combat with the uh, with the troops that we had there? Oh, god. 10,000 men, huh? And they're just gonna... They're just gonna assault that down. They're gone. What happened? How... How did we win that? What the fuck happened there? Did you not see that? They started the assault and I thought they'd taken it immediately and then they just disappeared. What? Well, that was strange. Strange things happening on the Isle of Lang. I really hope Archon Aeris is doing well. Yeah, you know what? I do too. Maybe some other time. Hey, there we go. Siege of Tarosh victory and good news. The Scourge has broken out. I have a feeling that that might be what's causing the game to lag so massively. The Labyrinth's being open. Because uh, at the start of each month, even though I've only got it set to sixth, sixth monthly autosave... Um, there's probably an easy way to say that. Uh, to also save every half year. Um, it still lags at the start of every month, and it seems to be coinciding with the disease tick. So I have a feeling that the, you know, the multiple diseases of the same disease breaking out in the same province is not working as intended. So the sooner we can seal these, the better. Right. Uh, oh yeah, the war's over with Tarish. Let's sell some slaves before we do absolutely anything else here. Meet with the slaver. 400 gold. Nice. Okay, good start. Right. And enforce demands. Boom. Thank you very much. And that's got our slaves back. Right, okay. Now we've got to find somewhere else to go to. And we've got some personal slaves as well there. Good, good, good. Hopefully we'll be approached for people wanting to buy them as soon as possible. Now, where else is good nearby? Because I don't particularly want to travel halfway around the globe. Because obviously we've got to go back and forth and back and forth. Scourge. Like, it's the first of every month, like I said. Constantly breaking out. I mean, obviously, I think... It's to represent Tyranny being like the source of the Scourge, isn't it? Um, and they want to make sure that the Scourge doesn't disappear from Lang. So it just fires every month, but it's so fucking slow. Um, let's get this done. Let's get this done. Goodbye. Colonize that one. Now, how close are we to being able to form Lang is the real question. 50%. We need very little gold. We need very, very little gold. We could take a loan from a vassal. Let's try it. We can always pay it back. Oh, thank God. How much did he give us? Nothing. Excellent. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot. A, a, a whole zero gold. I feel like I need to watch that one back to see if that was uh, if that was right. But 40 gold, that'll do it. Oh shit, we only need another... We only need another 40 gold and then we've got enough to actually create the title of Lang and try and seal these goddamn fucking labyrinths that are driving me mad. The Accursed... What a shocker. The Scourge. The Princess Lena is responding to my tuition. Excellent. Oh, come on. This is the final bit. 40 gold. Get rid of her. Can't win them all. God fucking damn it. Should have settled for the 15... Nailus Quagoras died bedroom and infirm. Oh, it's time. It's time. Topbog hasn't noticed. He's too busy fighting the Dothraki horde. Topbog's somewhere up here in the in the in the Dothraki plains, fighting away. He's sat there in his tent, you know, 
It's dim outside. He's got the fire going. And somebody, co somebody comes into his tent. His, his chief general. My lord Topbog. The, the people on Lang, they're, they're sealing up the labyrinths. It's really bad. And Topbog does the whole table flip. And he's really mad about stuff. I'm not a great storyteller. I'm not going to. I'm going to pretend I am. What do you want? Um, return valuable artifact. Oh, right. He wants um, the, the falcon crown back. I mean, we say no and he declares war on us, right? Um, yeah, he wants this one back because that's his, you know, his, his traditional sort of family heirloom. We say no and he can declare war on us. He's got 16,000 men. Will he? Honestly, probably. Because um, the AI is pretty ridiculous like that. And if we're just about to seal the labyrinth on Lang, I need all my troops. You know what? Have your crown. We'll take it back in a minute anyway. Okay, here we go. Langmar, the capital of Lang. Oh, it's ours. Oh, we've got it. Lang, create. Holy shit, can we seal the fucking labyrinths finally? This entire campaign? We've done this for you, Bob. This is for you. Oh. <laughs> you have the entrances to the labyrinths on Lang resealed with thick stone, in much the same way Emperor Jar Jar did hundreds of years ago. Musa, seal the labyrinths! Very soon, people report the maddening whispers to have faded. I don't know if that's how Jar Jar sounds. I haven't watched that movie in about 500 years. Seems the old ones have finally been tombed away from the world again and their scourge of madness with it. Gain 750 prestige. Do it. Oh. Oh. Oh, well, this is the same event. You have the entrances to the labyrinths of Lang resealed with thick stone. Much in the same way Musa did hundreds of years ago. Very soon, people with maddening whispers have faded. It would seem the old ones have been tombed away. Gain 750 prestige. Is the Scourge gone? The Scourge is still there. Uh, Topbog angry? Topbog very angry. Topbog minus 100. I'm kind of afraid to unpause here. Um, No, there is... There is nothing. Okay. I'm going to assume that's everything. We're good. Congratulations, team, with absolutely no fanfare. No, no recognition. We don't get called, you know, the, the sealer of chaos. We don't get called the... The fancy saver of the world or anything. It's just you block it up and that's it. Um, or more specifically, it's just business as usual. Um, we gotta set some dude free. Oh, this is I mean, I know who that was. That was my uncle, um, my good friend, Lord Anus, or whatever the hell his name was. Um bit disappointing actually. I was kind of expecting a little bit more, you know, congratulations, you've saved the world. Here's a medal or something. Um, fine, understandable. That's that's completely not at all bitter. Well, I must admit, we're not completely done yet, though, are we? We've still got the big boy himself, Top Oxboth, the man, the myth, the legend, the still living embodiment of chaos and hatred and evil and naughty things across the world. His descendant, Humbabs Poth. <laughs> Fucking Humbab. <laughs> That's so good. Humbabs Poth and Top Oxboth, his wife, Abeloth Spoth. And then all of their thousands of children. I, I mean, obviously, we just got to take out Topbog. I feel like Topbog and his um, matriarch, evil, hideous wife there. Um, if we can deal with those two, then I think we're good. I think burning Topbog would be the ultimate, ultimate sacrifice to the Lord of Light. And I mean, he can't say no at this stage. Who else could say no to that? We, w we are going to become a Zora High if we burn Topbog. All we've got to do is kidnap an extremely powerful old man. And, uh, and burn him. I think it'd be pretty poetic to, to probably Dragon Conquest the everything. Like, Dragon Conquest the Shadow Sea and give it back to the people. Give it back to you, the people. So we could actually give, um, you know, Yeetie split it up into back, back into a Shine Yeetie. Give Yeetie back to, uh, try and track down the old Emperor. Maybe get him to our court, push his claim on it. That would be cooler. That'd be much, much cooler. And try and, try and get rid of Top Bog through sort of unifying, um, you know, UT, get rid of these bone mountains as well. Kick them out of a shy. That'd be pretty fun. So, what are we looking at? Um, obviously, they've got to solve their war. Speaking of which, how's his fucking war going with the Dothraki, though, huh? Um, what happened to his war with the Dothraki? Called Jomo of Jomo. Wait, did it stop? Did he lose? Wait, oh, no, he's still fighting it. Wait, Jomo? Uh, was I looking at the wrong dude? Jomo of Jomo. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, that dude. Lord Protector. There we go. Okay, right, got it. 2% in favor of Topbog. So it, it's a very long, drawn-out war. Topbog should win it, because obviously he's got, you know, he's got superior numbers, but it's getting actual war score, as I said before, that's the issue here. Um, the silence. What is this? The Spymaster brings news from the Shadow Sea. The men that once fought for Topbog's both with unbreaking further and zealotry have all but abandoned the war efforts and began a sudden march back to their homes across Yeeti and Ashai. The Yeetish lords have also declared for one of their own as the true emperor of Yeeti, demanding that Topbog's both be put to death for poisoning the minds of their people. 
One of your spy master's reports is particularly disturbing. It claims that a few days after the labyrinths were sealed on Lang, the Empress of the Shadow Sea quickly fell ill, with eyewitnesses saying that tentacles and dark masses erupted from her body before she violently exploded. Top box boff loses the trait Grey Old One. We've done it, boys. We've cut him off from his power. Bear in mind, the Great Old One was the thing keeping his goddamn empire together in the first place. Either by being blessed by the Elder Gods or consuming some sort of terrible power, this character has become a Great Old One. That was keeping his realm together. That was the thing stopping him from becoming dethroned again for the 18th time. <clears throat> so, with this gone, I think we're just going to see everything crumble. Goodbye, Top Bog. The labyrinths have been sealed. Holy shit. If only this could have happened when the labyrinths were sealed, huh? Rather than that very baseless, pointless event that we got in the game... It felt like a complete waste of time and effort. Totally not bitter about that. Do not pay attention to the common folk. Lord Protector, the loser trait handicap. Oh, she's dead. Uh, La Lady Abeloth from the Shadow Sea. Boom, she's gone. She's, I mean, she was literally just a being of, of dark power and terror who was cut off from a power supply, so she's just dried up. She's a prune now. She's an elder prune. Oh, shit. Well, this is going to be great. Oh, what do the vassals think of him now out of interest? Um, not highly, if that's anything to go by. She really likes him. Why? Friend plus 100. Oh, he's friends with the Queen of Ashai. Um, everybody else fucking hates the dude. This is incredible. Oh, something else is happening. A native revolt. Oh my god, I'm gonna say, hang on a minute, this isn't right. We'll have to, oh no, our hard work's gonna be destroyed. Ooh, what a shame that would be if they were to take back Lang of all places. The Scourge is still out. You see that? Now nah, it's because we've cut them off. It's because we've cut them off from their power. It's, it's, it's all working as it is intended. There we go. Perfect. Still, I want to burn Top Bog as the final sort of hurrah for this campaign. Watching him on a... He immediately remarried. Oh, Jesus, stop. Uh, he immediately remarried. I think putting him on a fire and, and uh, obviously torching him would be incredibly good. I think that would really be the cherry on the cake here. Right, so... How the hell are we going to grab this dude? Oh. Please make it stop. Make it stop for the love of God. Oh God, this place is expensive. Um, We can't afford it. I don't care. Who cares about Lang anymore? Let it go. Honestly, let it go, my dude. Not a big deal. Right, the Shadow Sea then. Holy shit. So what fell into ruin in, in conclusion? So obviously all of Lang. Um, a lot of the sort of very, very powerful ancient provinces here. So the Ashbad completely gone. Jade Road. Um, We've got... What's that? One, two, three, four. So they didn't lose anything particularly terrible. Um, obviously they lost, like, Yin. Yin is the capital of Yi-Ti, which is probably why Top Bog himself owns it. If they'd have lost that one, that would have been pretty great. Um, they didn't lose it, did they? I was gonna say, maybe they lost it and he recolonized it at some stage, but that's pretty cool. Okay, so we managed to stop it before it got pretty ridiculous there. Anyway, still gotta deal with Top Bog, so let's, um, I guess bide our time until the dragon comes of age. And like I said, I, I kinda like the idea of going on the dragon conquest and, uh, restoring a deposed emperor. Nine. Oh my god, we've gotta wait... Apparently one more year, but I, I would take that with a grain of salt. Um, Archon Irish, welcome aboard. Right, so let's find ourselves an Emperor of Yi T, who perhaps we can get to our court and help overthrow Spoth. Claimants? There are. There are people. Humbab. Well, Humbab Spoth wants to join my court. Oh, they are all Spoths. The only other dude is the Lord of Yin. Oh my god, can we, can we forge an alliance with this dude, maybe? Push his title? That'd be cool. Um, and he actually has a claim on the... He does. The Empire of the Shadow Sea. Or, or what is obviously uh, Yi T there. So here's... Oh, right. He's descended from Spoff, though. The King Tenoth the Young of... Yeah, no, he's not actually a traditional descendant. We need to find out who the last Emperor was before Top Bog. Find his family. Maybe track someone down and get them on board. So that would be... Um, so we've got Top Bog, Top Bog, Samarkand the Mad. Top Bog, Top Bog... Top Bog conquered in a war, right? This is what we're looking for. Shen. House Boo. Are there any members of House Boo left? Um, there are a four living members. Holy shit. We could try and restore this here. Alright. I'm going to find a member of House Boo who's alive. We're going to get him to court. Oh my god. We are gonna, we're going to restore Yi Ti. This is going to be incredible. So we've got the last two surviving men here of House Boo who are, you know, completely fucked. I mean, this dude's apparently... Man, this is a sad story, huh? So my grandfather used to be emperor, or I suppose great, 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 great grandfather at the stage, given how long Top Bog's lived. Drunkard, severely injured, he's lost a leg. He's brave though, brave, deceitful, cynical, envious, probably because, you know, his family should be the true rulers of E.T. Can we invite him to court? That's a real question. Oh, nice. Why? Why does he want to join our court? Uh, Enli Boo, welcome to court, my friend. 
Eris was having me to oblige him, but for some time spent with him, I am confident we can gain the shore, whatever. There he is. To the great Emperor Gaiman. Blessings upon you and your house. I accept your gracious invitation to court. Enli Boo. It's, this is your restoration saga, my friend. Um, we could grant him a Valyrian still sword. Enli needs it more than I do. You're not wrong. Um, can we give him anything? We give him a dragon bone bow. That would be cool. Um, I mean, it's quite a nice artifact, though. How would you like? How about instead a nice sword? Um, he's, he's cleaned himself up. That's nice. Thank you for thank you for turning up and you know having a wash. That's, that's at least pretty decent, right? Um, man, I feel like I need to do something with this dude. Maybe give him a landed title temporarily until he can. We give him like, I mean, we could give him Lang, but that seems like a horrible idea. Can we actually push his title for him against Topbog? Um, Topbog's buff. Declare war. No, we have raised army levies. Put the army levies down. Topbog's buff. Declare war. Uh, claim Shadow Sea for Enlil Boo. There he is, little Boo. Oh my god, am I going to do that? It's 38,000 men. Oh, of course, because he everybody hates him now. He's lost his mind control powers. And now he's just a regular old CK2 boy. Oh my god, he's had so many children. They're actually kind of over spewing from the... Uh, uh, spewing over from the, the children interface here. Right. Claim the Shadow Sea for N Lil Boo. Let's do it. Let's overthrow Top Box Boff. Let's put the true emperor back on his throne. I'm actually going to leave it there for today, even though it's a few minutes early, just because I think the next episode will be our final episode of Emperor Gaiman's story. The story of, of Bob, of Topbog, of House Toad, who've really done nothing to help this entire campaign. And then we can uh, restore what has been taken, burn Topbog, and all will be right in the world, and I'm sure nothing will go wrong at all. Thank you all for watching. Let's give a shout out to the patrons for making this series possible in the first place, including Zachary Harris, Harik, Sean Thornton, Hayd Oxidini, Tim Bragg, Walrus, Michael Mullen, Vacuous Bacchus, Josh Lindine, Tesla, Tyler Burt, Jacob Alexander Fenton, Pavis Presley, Asuna Kirito, Logan Thorne, Conspiracy, Jimbo, Orkswolf, Facundo Vasquez, Tom Terrier 18, Escape, Average Gamer 19, and Jackson Widman. Thank you all for your support on Patreon. Thank you for keeping things going, especially during the. Uh what might be the Adpocalypse version, what, what are we at now? Number four, number five. And a big shout out as well to Nathaniel Limburg, Brandon Wittone, Euphrates, Jack Allen, Betamus Max, Panther Pearl, Gabriel Van Ders, Llewellyn Thomas, Nathan Flores, Joran de Vries, Hajdemar, Alpha Scuff, Kevin Saunders, Don Kong 207, Zet McDougall, Joseph Beard, Jordan Camel, Harry McGowan, Chris, Hancock, Sir Phil the Swede, Asero, Nick, Will Wade, Noah Gallimore, Fraser Brennan, The Insane Pickle, and Adam Person.